يقاتل المسلمون اليهود فيقتلهم المسلمون فيختبئ اليهود وراء الحجر والشجر فينادي الحجر والشجر قائلا يا مسلم يا عبد الله هذا يهودي خلفي تعالى فاقتل إلا الغرقد فإنه من شجر اليهود And you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life. You are Ali. Ali. Hello everybody. I hope my sound is crystal clear. Welcome. How is everybody? Welcome to our live broadcast of today. We are live, brother. Hello, Walter. Hello, Bocock. Hello, Jesus, Jesus Christ Army, Marcus Tembeck. Sahih Luke, Marjana, Naomi, Pat, Pierce Taylor, Malaysian Prophet, Christian Crusader, Red Rose, Podelio, Andy. Hi, Tamara. How are you, sister? Pure sounds. How is everybody? I hope everybody is doing okay. Welcome. Hi, Pinda, Pin, Pinda Case. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. Hi, Sam King. There are many of you guys. Sorry if I forgot to mention your name. Bear with me. Everybody is welcome. God bless you. God bless your families. Today I uh, picked a topic that is really damaging for uh, the Quran, for any Muslim who calls himself a Muslim and follows the Quran, uh, which is the book that is being so-called divine inspired to Muhammad through Jibreel, the so-called angel Jibreel. So if we can find one mistake in the Quran, just one mistake, it already destroys Islam and the Quran, right? And Muhammad, because then that means Muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet. Just one small tiny mistake in the Quran, then it's all over for Islam and the Quran, right guys? Do you agree? Guys, I hope my sound is crystal clear. I hope my sound is going very well to everybody. I hope you can hear me. Before we start, guys, let us pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, bless our beloved audience. Lord, thank you for your grace. And thank you for the ultimate sacrifice, i.e. Jesus Christ. Thank you for the amazing last year. And thank you for our lovely audience and subscribers who kept supporting us day in, day out. Please bless our audience and their loved ones. Keep all of us healthy and safe in this very new year, 2020. Father, enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct our words thoughts and actions give us a measure of your strengths so that we might not give into discouragement taqiyya makr deception lies or any doubt lord please lord help us honor you in all our ways lord fill me today with your holy spirit and loosen my tongue so i can speak the truth to my audience lord without any error or any shame because we should not be ashamed to spread the truth, Lord. Only and only the truth will prevail. Lord, give me wisdom and courage today to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. On this live cast, guys, welcome. On this live broadcast, we will have the opportunity today to investigate if we can find just one simple tiny mistake in the Quran. And as we mentioned, if we can find one mistake in the Quran, that already destroys Islam. I'm not sure if we're going to open Skype today, because I'm not sure if I'm going to stay very long uh, today. 
but we will see if there are Muslims in the live chat who wants to call us. Uh, then sure, why not? So we'll see about that. I hope you can invite uh, our friends, guys, to the live chat. Uh, share the link on social media. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. So there will be people joining us so we can start today's live show. So, as we said, one mistake in the Quran destroys entire Islam. Do we have any Muslim uh, guys? Is there any Muslim? Is there any Muslim in the live chat or any Muslim who is listening? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim? Mr. Nazif, hey, welcome. Are you a Sunni or a, Sh a Shia Muslim? Are you a Sunni or a Shia Muslim? Yeah, one dislike that means it must be from him. <laughs> I think he he's a Sunni Muslim. Do you believe that there is one mistake in the Quran? I don't have a call. What? I have no idea what you just said. I don't have what? I don't have a call. Hmm. I have no idea what a call means. <clears throat> Hello Ramfa, how are you my friend? Guys, keep our admins in your prayers. They're always doing an amazing job keeping law and order in the live chat. Maybe some other admins will join later too. Uh, lately, I've been receiving messages from our friends that for some reason YouTube is not sending any messages or any notifications that we are live or that we upload new videos well we know that youtube is nothing but an agent of satan so when we like to spread the truth or want to expose the false teaching of muhammad i.e islam youtube doesn't like that and mr nazif says i'm just muslim I read Quran and I read Sunnah. So you are a Sunni, Mr. Mr. Nazif. If you read the Sunnah of Muhammad, then I believe you are a Sunni, right? Do you follow Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim? I yeah, see Cats and Music says that too. No, no notification for me, Rob. So yeah, YouTube is not sending notifications, notifications for some reason. I have no idea why. Make sure, guys, to always uh subscribe if you didn't already and smash that like button also click on the notification bell to receive notifications so make sure to click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live or upload new videos that's very important so master nazif i think you're a sunni muslim right if you follow Sahih Bukhari, you follow Sahih Muslim, that means you're a Sunni. Okay, so yes, probably. So he's a Sunni. All right. Today's topic, one mistake in the Quran destroys Islam. Just one. If we can show you just one mistake in the Quran. Now, before we go there, guys, before we go there, someone uh, sent me a video that I really want to expose. Someone sent me a video that I really want to expose. So before we going to prove to you that the Quran is actually wrong. So if we are going to prove to you that Quran has actually many mistakes, but today we're going to show you only a couple of them uh, because I'm not planning to stay very long today uh, live. Okay, some people got notifications, maybe one or two people didn't. Okay. I don't know. YouTube, man. I, do, I, I will never understand the YouTube algorithm. For some reason, you know. Anyway, this is what it is. We have to deal with this, guys. So let me play a video, guys. Put on your headsets. And let us destroy the Muslim apologists. Who are actually bankrupt. Right? They are bankrupt. They cannot find any miracles in the Quran. So they have to do all kind of gymnastics and try to count words and show you hey look look if we count this word and we count this word 
look, these words are equal with one another in counting. So guys, watch this hilarious comedy, the comedy show of the Muslim apologists who are bankrupt. They know the Quran has, has no miracles. They know the Quran has no scientific miracles at all. So they are doing all kind of gymnastics to prove to the Muslims. Actually, they are deceiving their Muslim audience with their uh, videos on YouTube. Thank you for the donation, uh, Road FFM. Thank you. God bless you. God bless your families. Show me on screen, please. Okay, uh, Mr. Nazif, we're going to show you, right? But let us, before we go there, let us show you how your Muslim scholars lie to you, okay? Let me play the video, guys, and show you how Muslims are bankrupt when they try to prove Islam from the Quran. Watch. This book, and centuries and centuries later, we have this book in book form. This book uses the word ad-dunya. You know what ad-dunya means? This world. This book uses the word this world 115 times. 115 times. What word is used? Ad-dunya. Did anybody know that back then? They had no idea. This book also uses... So guys, what, what is happening here basically is this guy is saying that the word ad-dunya, the word ad-dunya, the world, is mentioned 115 times. In the Quran, guys, according to this Muslim apologist, Al-Dunya, the world, is mentioned in the Quran 115 times. Do you think this is true? And I'm going to prove to you that Muslims, normal Muslims, like this Mr. Nazif guy, who is our guest of today, a Sunni Muslim guest, Mr. Nazif, welcome, by the way. We're going to show you that normal Muslim people Regular Muslims, not, let's say, not Muslim apologists, not scholars, just normal, regular Muslims, Mohammedans, that's what I love to call them. They're actually being deceived by their Muslim apologists and scholars. This guy just said, Al-Dunya, the world, is mentioned 115 times. Guys, you heard it, right? Al-Dunya, according to this guy, according to this Muslim apologist, Al-Dunya is mentioned 115 times. Let us check it for real if this is true or if this guy is nothing but a deceiver and a liar lying to his Muslim audience. Watch. Alright guys, watch. This is the word. Let me correct the screen for a little bit. Yes, this is the word, right? The word, the world, Al-Dunya, right? Do you see it? If I simply, right, this is Google Translate, as you see. If I simply copy the word, watch, Mr. Nazif, watch how, Mr. Nazif, don't change the topic, okay? Be a sincere Muslim. Don't change the topic and talk about God isn't human and focus, Abdul, focus, focus, focus. Mayday, mayday to the Muslims who are watching, focus. And let me show you how your Muslim apologists, your Muslim heroes who are teaching you Islam, are liars and deceivers. Watch. Guys, watch. Right? Let us go to the Quran. Let me use the search engine. Al-Quran Al-Kareem, the Arabic Quran, right? Do you see it? Let me put the word. Al-Dunya, the world. Do you see it? Don't say Rob Christian is lying. Let me do a search now. What does it say? 112. What did this guy said? This liar, he said 115 times. You dirty liar. <laughs> you disgusting deceiver. Do you see how they are deceiving their audience, guys? Now, if I was a Muslim and I would have done research and I came with the conclusion that Muslim scholars are nothing but liars, they are bankrupt Muslim scholars, they want to do all kind of gymnastics. They are so bankrupt, they are so desperate to find any miracle in the Quran. Someone is saying Christian, 
Crusader says 112. He's a liar like Muhammad. Exactly. Do you see how, what kind of deceivers Muslim scholars are? Thank you for the donation, uh, Mr. G. Thank you. God bless you. God bless your families. I appreciate it. So this guy said 115, right? He said 115. Let me go back, right? The word this world, 115 times. 150 times? 15 times. What, yeah. You know what the dunya means? Do you know what the dunya means? This world. This world. This book uses the word this world 115 <laughs> times. You liar. You disgusting liar. Why are you lying, man? This is the word, al dunya, right? We use Google Translate to show you that it means the world. This is the word, al dunya. And I use the search engine. Very easy. You can do it. You, if you don't believe me, you can do it. You can check it out yourself. Do you see? Do you see how they are lying, guys? Hello, Carolina. Hello, Abdul Halik. Welcome. Guys, we are playing a video from a Muslim apologist who is nothing but a liar deceiver, proving, trying to show you what kind of miracles there are in the Quran. Where, well, he's nothing but a liar, right? He is nothing but a liar, right? So he's trying. Look, look. 15 times. What word is used? Adunia. Why is he doing that? this? Watch. Why is he just no doing, doing this? This book also uses Al-Akhirah. This life, Adunia, Al-Akhirah, the next life. It uses it 115 times. So he's trying, guys, if you notice, he's trying to show you the last day, Al-Akhirah, the next life, is mentioned 115 times, which is also false. You can, you can check it out yourself. That's not true. This one is only 112 times what uh, mentioned. So let's say this is 115, but this is 112. You a filthy liar. You disgusting creature. You Muslim apologist. You Muslim heroes. You truly have no shame. You have no dignity and you have no honor when you deceive your Muslim followers on YouTube, your Muslim audience. It's actually a miracle that you are using lies and deception. It's a miracle that you have Muslim audience who are following and subscribing to you. That's the miracle. That they are being deluded, they are being fooled by you. You liar. That's the miracle actually. 112 times, as we showed you. 112 times. Let me continue. This is it 115 times. This book uses the word angels 88 times. Angels now. 88 times. 88 times. It uses the word devils, 88 times. Devils, again 88 times. Did you catch it? So he's trying to prove to you. Look at this miracle in the Quran, guys. Allahu Akbar! The angels are mentioned 100, sorry, 88 times. The angels are mentioned 88 times. And the shayateen, the devils, are mentioned 88 times. Let us put that to the test. No problem. Al shayateen. Right? Just a second. Uh, what did I do wrong? Okay, al shayateen. This is the word, right? The devils, right? Al shayateen. Al shayateen. Right? Al shayateen. So let me copy it. Put it in Google search. Al shayateen. Oops. 78 times only. Let me change the screen for you so you can see it. 78 times only. Do you see it? Only 78 results. 10 results are missing, 78 are only showing, where is the other 10? You see how they are actually deceiving people? Do you see how they are deceiving people? Did you catch it guys, what this guy is doing? <laughs> you dirty disgusting liar, you truly have no shame, you have no dignity.
Abdul, you're nothing but a liar. Ten are missing. Do you see their deception and taqiyya? Do you see their taqiyya and deception, how they are fooling their audience? Imagine if I did the same to you guys. Imagine if Rob Christian, who is calling himself a Christian apologist, if I'm doing the same deception, using the same deception to deceive you. How many subscribers would I have, still have? Not many, right? But Muslim audience, the Muslim audience, they don't do their own research to make sure if these people are liars or not, if these people are deceiving them or not. And actually this is a crystal clear proof that Muslims are being fooled by their scholars and apologists. Islam is nothing but a big business for these disgusting liars and deceivers. Right? So let's say angels is mentioned 88 times, but clearly the devils, the shayateen, al shayateen are only mentioned 78 times. So 10 shayateen are missing. <laughs> hey, welcome Rory. Welcome my friend. God bless you. I missed you too. Do you see how they are lying guys? I really wanted to share this with you. Let's see if this liar is going to expose himself even more. Watch. The word life. Life. Occurs 145 times. In the 145 Al times. Life. Al haya. You want to take a guess what else comes in the Quran 145 times? Death. Death. The word death occurs in the Quran. Allahu Akbar. Another miracle, brother. Life. And death, both are 145 times. Let us check out if life is mentioned 145 times. You disgusting creature, you're nothing but a liar. Let me prove it again. Guys, we need to find the word life 145 times, right? Let's see. This is the word life. Do you see it? Al-Hayat. Let me copy the word again. Do you see it? Life. Al Hayat, right? Let me put it in the search engine. Again. Oh, the screen is not showing. Sorry, guys. The screen didn't show. Again, guys, this is the word life. Do you see it? Al Hayat. Let me copy it. Control C. Copy. And let me go to the Quran. Al Hayat. Do you see it? The same word. Let me do, click on the search button. 92 times. What did this Abdul say? <laughs> what did this Abdul say? How many times? How many times did he say? 145. How many words are missing? How many words are missing? 145 minus 92. How much is that, guys? How many words are now missing? Ah, <laughs> oh, you disgusting deceiver, you disgusting liar. The whole video is nothing but a comedy show, guys. 145 became suddenly 92. Only 92 results are showing. You disgusting liar. You said 145, but we can only see 92 results. All right? Yes, I can, Mr. Nazif, I can. Let me open up Skype. Do you have Skype, my friend? Do you have Skype? You can add my to Skype. I opened my Skype. Look. This is Skype. 
You can call me live on Skype. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Look, one of the brothers in the chat already posted the Rob Christian without separation. You can call me. My Skype is open. All right. Call me, my friend. No, no, not Hangout account. You need Skype account. Okay? Skype. Skype. Okay? You need to install Skype. It only will take you one minute. Add your uh, Outlook mail address or uh, Hotmail email address and you can use it. And I think today's um, Windows, I think Windows 10 uh, has Skype included, right? Skype is free. If you're behind a computer, you can use it for free. You can even download it on your smartphone or iPad, let's say, if you have an iPad. It's free, brother. So, the, guys, do you see how these people are nothing but liars? The whole video is a scam. The whole video is nothing but scam. You disgusting creature. How did 145 become 92? Huh? Hundred forty five minus ninety two is hundred sorry five fifty three words are missing brother fifty three words for the word life are missing this guy truly cannot count are you calling Allah and Muhammad liars and he's bragging about theirs today we can use the search engines back then the Sahaba, the companions, and Muhammad could not use any calculators. Look at this amazing miracle. Brother, where are the miracles? What, what miracles are you talking about? You're only lying. <laughs> Do you have any shame in you? Clearly not. Right? You Muslims have no shame. You have no honor, honesty in you. You have no honor. And you truly don't respect your audience who are watching your videos. Because you, Muslim scholars, you know that normal Muslims don't back check. They don't do their own research to find out that you are nothing but liars and deceivers. You are nothing but makers like Allah. Khairul makirin. So when you are a follower of Allah and Muhammad, you're going to be a maker, right? You're going to be a deceiver like your Allah, i.e. Satan in disguise. Yes, pinpoint, exactly. This is the point of today's live show. Facts will destroy Islam and we are spanking these liars. Do you see? Guys, you need to download this video when we are done with today's live show and show everybody how these people are nothing but liars. Right? Oh man, we showed you that the word shalteen, many words are missing. Same goes for al hayat, and same goes to other examples that he gave. All of them are wrong. What's left? Now, guys, let it go. <laughs> Let it go, brother. Mashallah, brother. You see all these deceivers in Islam, brother, who are deceiving their audience, brother. Let it go, brother Rob. It doesn't say that, Rob. Rob, it doesn't say that, Rob. <laughs> anyway, there was this guy, Nightmare1966, who commented under one of my videos. And as you see, it was three hours ago. He says, Jews and Christians are not called Mishrikeen in Quran. They are called the people of the book. Arab Christians as well as Arab Jews before Islam called God of Abraham Allah. They still even. No, they didn't. They didn't call God Allah. They called him Jehovah. You liar. But guys, forget about this part. He's lying. But 
What about this? Guys, he says that Jews and Christians are not called Mushrikeen. And he's commenting on the fact that according to the Quran, you are not allowed. The Quran, guys, tells you to not, you are not allowed as a male, Muslim male, to marry Mushrikat, right? You are not allowed to marry disbelieving women, right? Women who associate partners with Allah. Did you catch it, guys? According to the Quran, you are not allowed to marry. There's nothing called marry. It's inkah, right? Nikah. Effing, right? So you're not allowed to F any associators with Allah. Mushrikat, right? But this guy says Jews and Christians are not called Mushrikat or Mushrikeen. Okay, no problem. Is that true? Then I answered him, Nightmare 1966. 1966, that's his name. Let us reject then chapter 9, ayah 30, and call Jews and Christians not Mushrikeen. Do you agree or disagree with chapter 9, ayah 30 of the Quran? Then I told him, you are a munafiq wannabe Muslim, you are out of Islam because you just called Allah and Muhammad liars. And here's why. Guys, watch. Let me show you how these people have no clue what they are talking about. And they are actually calling their God and Prophet liars and deceivers like them. Watch. Chapter 9, Surah at tawbah the chapter of the sword, the chapter of fighting. That's the other nickname for this chapter. The chapter of the sword. Chapter 9, Ayah 30. The Jews say, Ezra, there's nothing called Ezra, it's Uzair, right? Uzair is Allah's son. So the Jews, guys watch, the Jews claim and say that Uzair is Allah's son. And the Christians say the Messiah is the son of Allah. And if we continue reading, it says, may Allah ruin them. Are we mushrikeen? Yes or no? Yes, we are. So Jews and Christians associate partners with Allah. The Jews associate Uzair with Allah and call him the son of Allah. The Christians right associate isa who they call jesus isa the messiah as the son of allah and allah says may allah ruin them so here the jews and christians are called mushrikeen what did this guy say jews and christians are not called mushrikeen in quran what are we then according to allah if we are associating al masih and uzair with allah you see, you see their taqiyah guys. You see, you see how these Muslims have no honor, no dignity, and no shame. You Muslims, truly, when you debate Christians, you have no honor, you have no dignity, and you have no shame in you. You have no dignity, you have no honor. Guys, take notes. Look how they are deceiving you when they debate you. Jews and Christians are not called Mushrikeen? What are we called then when we associate partners with Allah? What are we called then? You liar, you deceiver. Are we going to go to Jannah like you? If we associate partners like Uzair or the Messiah as the son of Allah? No, we are going to go to hellfire. Why? Because we are associators, we are associating partners with Allah. Right Muslims? Bam! Exactly invisible. BAM! You disgusting liar, Mr. Nightmare 1966. You have been spanked. You have been busted. And we showed everybody that you have no dignity. You have no shame when you debate Christians. So, this guy is actually is a munafiq. He's a munafiq. He's a wannabe Muslim and he's out of Islam. That's what you are. I hope this guy is watching. You, Mr. Nightmare 1966. I think you are nothing but a fake wannabe Muslim. You're not even a true Muslim and you're out of Islam for rejecting chapter 9, ayah 30. Right? 
I mean, if Allah is going to ruin the Jews and the Christians for associating Uzair and the Messiah with Allah, why would Allah ruin us? Because we are associating partners with Allah, right? <laughs> you disgusting, foul, this creature. You have no shame, you have no honor, you have no dignity. You Muslims, I think when you wake up in the morning, Muslims, when you wake up in the morning and you know you're going to place comments or you're going to debate Christians, let's say in the comment section, it's not even a debate, it was called spanking. I think you eat taqiyya during breakfast, right? You eat seven ajwa and you eat taqiyya, right? So it can run through your blood veins so you can use taqiyya with us when you have discussions with us. And Mr. Nazif, I'm still waiting for you to call me. Use Skype. My Skype ID is DROP Christian. Do you have another Muslim? You can call us live. We're live on air. You can call us. My Skype is open. We are live on air, brother. All right. And he placed another comment. My, my friend, you made already a big mistake. You idiot you made a huge mistake in placing a comment under my comment section under one of my videos and you tried your luck again for the second time guys now here this is one of his second he he for the second time yeah mr nazif add my skype id to skype my skype id is drop christian you can call me then. You can find me very easily. The Europe Christian without separation. So he calls me an idiot. Guys, let me quote him. This guy again says, this idiot, i.e. Europe Christian, so he calls me an idiot, said, show me, so I challenge the Muslims, show me one ayah, that's what I said, show me one ayah from the Quran that says that the Bible is corrupted, guys. Right? That's what I... That was my challenge last time, right? My challenge still stands to any Muslim. Show me one ayah in the Quran that says that the Bible is corrupted. Then he says, okay, here is what you asked for. So he's going to provide an ayah. And he gives us chapter 2, ayah 79, right? Chapter 2, ayah 79. So according to him, this ayah is saying that the Bible is corrupted. Let me show you, guys, that this guy has truly, again for the second time, he made a huge mistake to place another comment. Big mistake, brother. And you're going to get spanked. Again. You, sir, are going to get spanked again. Before we go to Ayah 79, this is chapter 2. The same chapter that he's talking about, right? Chapter 2, Ayah 79. Let me first go to one ayah before to understand the context. Right? Watch guys how you ha can deal with chapter 2, ayah 79. Whenever you ask a Muslim, show me one ayah that says that the Bible is corrupted, they are going to give you chapter 2, ayah 79. Yes, Mr. Nazif, you can call me. You don't need to ask. I already said you can call me, man. I don't like to repeat myself. Let's see if this guy is going to call. Okay. Anyway, I don't think uh, this guy knows how Skype works. So, to understand, guys, now focus. Guys, forget about Nazif for a second. Focus with me. To understand what the ayah is talking about, we have to go one ayah before, right? And this is talking about the Jews, right? This is talking about the Jews, right? The Jews. Let us read. Then, وَمِنْهُمْ أُمِّيُّونَ Right? لَا يَعْلَمُونَ الْكِتَابِ There are among them, there are among them, so there's a group of Jews, guys, watch, there is a group of Jews, not all the Jews. There are among them, among, you know what among means, right? A 
group of Jews who are unlettered. They are spiritually unlettered, spiritually dead Jews, according to this ayah. Yeah, always the Jews, brother. So a small group of Jews, they are spiritually dead, they are unlettered, who have no knowledge of the book, which is the Torah, all right? But depend upon empty hopes and are guided by mere conjecture and guesswork. So according to this ayah, guys, these small group of Jews, right? A small group of Jews are spiritually dead. They are spiritually illiterate, spiritually illiterate. They think they have the knowledge, but they have no knowledge of the Torah, but are actually nothing, they're nothing but, you know, guided by mere conjectures, right? So they are only guessing. They think they know the Torah, but they are only guessing. They have no knowledge. Brother, Rob Christian is not live? Yes, I'm live. I think he called me. Let me call him back. Let's see if I'm calling you. Hello. Hello, Nazif. Welcome. Your life on air. Yes. Uh, Welcome. It's meaning of uh, dunya is a uh, world. Yes. Yes. Uh, I search in Turkish. Uh, there are uh, hundred fifteen times in Quran El Dunya. How did you search? Uh, I will send you. I will send you now. In Turkish. Now, I, uh, listen. I I don't open. I don't I open links. Okay. By the way, did Allah did Allah send? Why why am I getting? Uh, I'm get. I I'm hearing myself double. That's really irritating. But why? Tell me, why are you searching in Turkish? Why are you not searching in Arabic? Uh, I don't know Arabic, but uh, it's... Wait, did Allah send the Quran in Turkish or Arabic? Uh, Allah uh, sent by Arabic, but... Okay, so uh, why, are you uh, using, why are you using Turkish? <laughs> there are uh, 112 times in uh, with, without attachments, but uh, uh, with attachments three and total uh, 115 times in uh, dunya yeah but you're using turkish i'm using arabic my friend do you see uh, it? it's verified by turkish uh, website i will send you uh, the photo of don't send me turkish don't send me look this is arabic quran do you see it al quran al karim yes. this yes. is quran yes. wow.com i put al dunya do you see the screen can you see the screen uh, I'm not in screen because okay. I, when I, I click when I click on the search button, I get only 112 results. So you're using Turkish. Don't use Turkish. Use Arabic because Allah didn't speak Turkish to Muhammad through. Uh, I know. I know. Okay. Uh, I uh, I'm I was talk uh, every okay. at a Turkish and then they are disturb the words. Uh, my friend, let me tell you a little secret. If you learn Arabic, you will leave Islam. Trust me. If you I, start to learn Arabic, you will leave Islam. I was, uh, I've been Muslim uh, seven uh, months ago. And oh, you I became a Muslim. Believe. Why did you become a Muslim, my friend? Uh, because I search and uh, there is a God, I think. And I search all of the uh, religions and... Yes. Uh, Christianity is a uh, name of Faraklit. Do you know Faraklit? Yes. Faraklit. Yes, I know. I know my Bible, my friend. I know. Gabriel. Yes. Gabriel. Yeah. John. No, uh, no, 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 no. Who told you? Who told you that? John. Who told you that? Uh, pardon. You have been fooled, my friend. They lied to you. Not, not. Uh, I have. Uh, uh, one which, minute. Okay, show me which which uh, verse are you talking about? One minute. They have been fooling you, my friend. The Barakli that you're talking about is the Holy Spirit. It's God Himself. Are you calling? Are you calling Jibreel God? Or sorry, Muhammad? You because you claim that it's Muhammad, right? 
It's chapter, uh, I think, chapter 14 and John's Bible I yeah, yeah. talk yeah. about. Chapter 14 and uh, I had uh, 15 or 16, I think. Okay, just a second, okay. Chapter John 14, right? Chapter 14, uh, yes. John, I think I okay. was read in okay. John Bible. Okay. I have 16. Okay. This is this is the verse, right? For it says, uh, yeah, yeah. And I will ask the Father, right? I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate. This is the word, paraclete in Hebrew, uh, to help you and be with you forever. This is the spirit of truth. According to Christianity, my friend, Yes. Our God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, Jesus is the one who is going to send the Holy Spirit, right? This is the Holy but, Spirit but that, that is God Jesus is talking about. Human. So, are you, are you calling, are you calling Muhammad? Because you claim that the paraclete is Muhammad, right? That's your claim, right? Yes. Okay. Are you claiming are you claiming that Muhammad is God of the Holy Bible? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, Faraklid means in Muhammad Bible, uh, I think. Listen, listen. According to Christianity, according to the Bible, Jesus yes. is talking about the Holy Spirit that he will send, right? So the Holy Spirit will come... Jibreel. You mean Jibreel? No, the Holy Spirit. That means the third person of the godhead do you understand let me let me let me let, let, listen listen can you tell me what christians believe in who is god and according to the christians uh christians believe uh three of group one. okay who are the who are the three persons holy spirit father and son thank you according to the to the christian teaching according to the bible this advocate is the Holy Spirit, which is the third person, right, of our Holy Triune God. The third person is the Holy Spirit. Are you, again, my question to you, listen carefully, focus with me. When you said the paraclete, the advocate, is Muhammad, are you claiming that uh, Muhammad, wait, let me, let me speak, my friend. Are you claiming that Muhammad is God? Of Christianity? Is that what you're trying to say? No, no. I think it's uh, his prophet because if uh, he's not prophet, God will kill uh, Muhammad. Come again? What did you say? Uh, if Muhammad isn't prophet, and God will uh, kill him. Well, God, God killed him, my friend. Yes, that's true. But uh, he is. Uh, Prophet, uh, 23 years, I think, uh, I read it. Uh, I think... Uh, my, friend, what, my friend, you are not paying attention. You're, you're all over the place. Wait, wait. Again, listen carefully. According to the Bible, the advocate is the Holy Spirit, right? The Holy Spirit that guides and lives in our body. Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, right? If you ask a Christian... Where does the Holy Spirit, how does he guide you? He enters your body and he guides you through your life as a Christian. Why? I, uh, I asked I you, listen, 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 listen. I asked you, who is the Holy Spirit according to Christians, according to Christianity and the Holy Bible? It's the third I, I person. Don't know who is it's the, listen, my friend, why are, you, what are, why are you not allowing me to speak, man? Just a second. Okay, okay. I explained to you that the advocate, right, the advocate, this word here that, that we can see, everybody can see it on the screen. The advocate, according to the Bible, is the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, right? That's the spirit of truth. Uh, when you ask a Christian, who is the spirit of the truth? It's the Holy Spirit. It's the God himself. When you said paraclete, right? Paraclete is a Greek word. When it's the advocate, and you, according to you, it's Muhammad, you just claimed that Muhammad is God. That's blasphemy, that's shirk, my friend. The one who told you that, he lied to you, he deceived you. And because of that, 
you became a Muslim. So you became a Muslim by someone who lied to you. You have been uh, lied, you have been fooled, my friend. Leave Islam. Because that was one of the reasons for you to become a Muslim, right? To say the Shahada seven months ago. You have to, you have to uh, talk with Edip Yüksel. He is teaching me Islam and he is right. I think is, Islam is truth of religion. I my think. friend, are you saying that you can't think for yourself? Are you, sorry to, I'm not trying to insult you. Are you, uh, are you uh, dependent on scholars? Is that what you're uh, trying to tell me? My English bet I can't. Uh, I understand. just told you. I just told you, you. You just claimed. You yourself claimed that the Paraclete is Muhammad. You said it, right? That's what you uh, said. Yes. yes. That means you just called Muhammad God of the Holy Bible. Do you agree that Muhammad mm. is God of the Holy Bible? You mean uh, Paraclete is God, right? Yes, it's the Holy Spirit. I understand it, but uh, it's Turkish uh, news. Uh, it's, it came with Jibreel, uh, who's prophet. <laughs> My friend, do you even listen to what I'm telling you? You Muslims, you have been fooled by this guy. What is his name? Eddie Buxel. Eddie Buxel lied to you. He is a liar. He fooled you. And you became a Muslim six, seven months ago because he lied to you. He fooled you. He deceived you. Why are you still a Muslim? Because I just destroyed, I destroyed this Edip Yuxil, his lies. You are confused, my friend. You have been fooled. I will talk with him. Uh, if, yeah, tell if, him to call me. Why? Tell him if, 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 if he's a man, I'm, tell him, tell, is, wait, my I friend, will. listen, my friend. Tell you Edip Yuxil, tell him there's a guy, his name is Rob Christian. He tells okay. you, he, he challenges you. He tell him these, these words. If you are a man, Mr. Eddie Buxel, call Rob Christian and debate him. Is that is that fair? I promise you, uh, and I will talk with Eddie Buxel. Uh, and if Quran is a lie, I will leave Islam. It's not lie. Uh, I don't want to leave Islam because I believe this. Okay. What about if I can show you a mistake in the Quran? Just one one mistake. Do, will you leave Islam? No, I I will search him and uh, okay. if uh, my friend, listen, listen, listen. Hang up, and I will call you when I'm done. Okay. S keep watching, and I will call you back. Okay, my friend. Go back to YouTube, and I will okay. show you the mistake. Yeah. Then um, I will call you when I when I showed you the mistake, and we will discuss. Yeah. Is that okay? Because you, you are not looking at the screen. I can't show you the screen okay. because, okay? So we're, I'm going to hang up on you now. I'm going to show you the okay. mistake and I will call you back. Is that okay? I will brought you uh, in live chat, okay? Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to you. Bye. Okay, guys. Let, let, let me give him a, uh, some time to go back to... To YouTube. <clears throat> Let's wait for him to see the YouTube screen. Um, Mr. Nazif, if you can, can you hear me, Mr. Nazif? I'm going to show you a mistake, okay? Focus, okay? You need to be very focused because I noticed, my friend, I noticed that you have troubles in understanding and you have troubles in focusing so you have to be very focused okay okay let me show you the huge mistake in the quran do you know what this is this is a b right a b right this b can make honey right do you see it Give me one if you understand what I'm talking about. This is a bee. A bee can make honey, right? Okay, yes, bee make honey. Thank God, he agrees. If we go to the Quran, Surah Al-Nahl, right? Al-Nahl, Al-Nahl, chapter 16, 
ayas 68 and 69. This is talking about the bees, right? Do you see it? Bees. Allah says in the Quran in chapter 16, ayah 68 and 69 the following. Your Lord Allah inspired the bee saying, set up hives in the mountains and in the trees. So, so Allah is telling the bees to make hives in the mountains and in the trees and in the trellises that people put up. Right? So here Allah is saying you can make hives. You can make, basically make your houses. So he's commanding the, the bees, right? Then if you continue reading, my friend, to the next ayah, are you still with me, Nazif? Do you, are you still following what I'm trying to show you? Chapter 16, now we are going to go to the next ayah, ayah 69. Give me one if you're still listening. I'm, guys, I really want to see if this guy is still listening. Give me a one in the text if you can still hear me. And you can still see the screen. Okay, good. Then Allah continues and says, Then suck the juice, basically the nectar, of every kind of fruit, and keep treating the ways of your Lord, which have been made easy. There comes forth from their bellies a drink. What is that drink? Honey, right? Bee make honey, varied in colors. So according to Allah, now here is the huge mistake, my friend. Now you are going to leave Islam. Now I promise you are going to leave Islam. And here is why. Are you still with me, my friend? Are you still with me? Give me one if you're still with me. According to Allah, according to Allah in this chapter, bees make honey in their bellies. Do you understand? I will search in Turkish. Don't, don't use Chinese, my friend, because Allah doesn't speak Chinese. Allah only speaks Arabic. Red Prophet, you say, that's how I make honey too, yeah? in your belly, my friend. Iqra, Iqra. Mr. Nazif, tell me if you're ready. Yeah, Allah doesn't speak English too, yeah. Allah is uh, yeah, a puny stone idol. This is why he can't speak English. But Mr. Nazif, did you find it in Turkish? Do you see that in the Turkish language, the Tur Turkish translation of the Quran, it says their bellies, there comes forth from their bellies. So from their bellies comes honey. Did you catch it? Can I use Turkish? I, I don't know, I don't know Turkish guys. What's the point in using Turkish? Okay, let me use, uh, let me use Turkish for this guy. Is, I'm not sure if Balar is bellies. <laughs> what is the word belly in Arab and Turkish, my friend? Nazif, I'm talking to you. Earth to Nazif. What is the word bellies in Turkish? Is that this word? Balar Sikar? I have no idea, guys. Nazif, answer my question. What is the word bellies in Turkish? Which, is, which word is the correct one? I have no idea, guys. I don't know, speak Turkish. I have no idea about the Turkish language. I think he, Allah silenced this poor guy. Allah silenced this poor guy. I'm not CP, I'm RC Shirley. But uh, I appreciate it here that you're calling me CP. Someone is saying Chris Lander Dun Dun. Okay, this is the word? Okay, let me let me use Google Translate. 
Oh, man. Turkish, Turkish. It's the wife. <laughs> that's not the... <clears throat> that's not the word. Karin is belly. Mr. Nazif, wait, wait. Don't... I am asking you, Nazif, what is the word? What is the word for bellies in the Turkish? What is the word bellies for tur in the in Turkish language? This guy is really slow, man. I hope you are not wasting my time. I'm trying to help you, my friend. What is the word here in the text? The word bellies. Is it this one? Let's see if this is the one. No, Balar is honey. Okay, we're we're getting there, guys. We're getting slowly. We're getting there. <laughs> uh, maybe this one. Karin, Karin is bellies. I don't see the word Karin. What is this? Look, guys, we are doing guessings. <laughs> I just put this word. Okay, Karin. Only this part? Yeah, like, Turkish language is amazing, man. Abdomen. Okay, abdomen. I'm getting abdomen. So that's basically the word. <laughs> you know, Google Translate is not really happy. Try the entire sentence. Yeah, so the Karin, the word Karin is the abdomen, which means bellies, right? Let's say the abdomen, abdomen means bellies, right guys? All right. Okay, Nazif, are you still with me? Is Are you still with me, Mr. Nazif? Are you still with me? Give me one if you're still with me. Okay. Mr. Nazif, let me tell you a little secret. The Quran is wrong. The Quran is wrong. And here is why. The Quran is wrong and here is why. Because be bees, this small animal that you see here, does not make honey in their belly. Bees do not make honey in their bellies or abdomen. Or, what was it? Karin. You call it Karin in Turkish. Bees do not make honey in their bellies as the Quran claims. CP, RC, it doesn't say that, RC. Yeah, right. What does it say then? Let me switch to English. I can use uh, Korean, maybe then you will understand it. <laughs> there comes forth from the bellies a drink. What is that drink? Honey, right? My stupid, this is your Quran, my friend. What are you talking about? Uh, dear dad, are you a Muslim? This is a word. This is the abdomen. This is the word in Arabic, my friend. Right? So it's a talking about their abdomen or bellies. Right. Abdomen or belly. But a bee does not make honey in their abdomen or belly. The Quran is wrong, Mr. Nazif. Here is the one million dollar question. Nazif, pay attention, Nazif. We are actually asking the following question. Here is the one million dollar question. Is honey made in the belly or abdomen or kareen, as you mentioned it in Turkish, of the bees? Uh, the answer is no. The Quran is wrong. Here is why. Read, Nazif, focus. Nazif, are you with me? M Mr. Nazif, are you with me? I, sh I, show I told you, if I can show you one small mistake in the Quran, that means Islam is false, 
Quran is man-made book. It's not from God. There is nothing called Allah. Quran is man-made book like, like from people like you and me. Okay. Here is modern science. Read with me, my friend. The bees have glands which secrete an enzyme. So there is a product, right, called enzyme that is made by bees in their bodies. Known as the bee enzyme. So it's an enzyme. When the bees collect the nectar, let's say from flowers. Nazif, are you still following? So when you have a bee, right? When you have a bee and it go, and this bee, this worker bee goes to a flower, right? And collect nectar, right? It collects nectar. It collects nectar, it collects nectar and mix it with the enzyme in the mouth. Not in the belly, in the mouth. Do you see it? The nectar or let's say honey, <laughs> honey is not made in the belly. So the bee collects the nectar from the flower, right? In the mouth of the bee, the nectar from the flower, goes in the mouth of the bee, right? And is mixed with this enzyme, together with the nectar, they mix it in the hive or nest, and this nectar is passed from one bee to another. So they, one bee gives the nectar to another bee. So this bee passes it to another bee, right? And the nectar together with the enzyme mixed in their mouth, then they bring it back, right? Mixing it more and more and more with the B enzyme and this nectar becomes honey outside the body of the bees. So the Quran is wrong. I show, I told you, Mr. Nazif. Yes, I know. I just showed you again. The Quran is wrong when the Quran said from their bellies, from their kareen, as mentioned in the Turkish translation, from the abdomen, from the bellies, there is nothing called honey in their bellies. You understand? Do you see the mistake in the Quran? Do you see the mistake in the Quran, Nazif? Give me a, a one if you caught it. Right? According to modern science, bees do not make honey in their abdomen, in their kareen. They make it in mixing it between their mouth, passing on the enzyme, mixing it with the nectar from the flower. And they go back to the hive, to their nest, basically to their houses. And there the nectar becomes Together with mixing, the enzyme becomes honey outside the, the kareen, outside the abdomen. So the Quran, my friend, is lying. The Quran is wrong. So Mr. Nazif, let me call you back. Let me call this guy back. Let me call you, okay? Pick up the phone. Hello Nazif, hello Nazif, do you hear me? Yeah, I, I can hear you. Okay, no. did you now understand, did you now understand um, I read, what, the, uh, what the Quran is saying? Did you just caught what the Quran said? The bellies, uh, you yeah, said. Yeah, the Quran, the Quran says, the Quran says a drink, which is honey, right, comes from yeah. the kareen, as mentioned in Turkish language, Karin in the abdomen, in the bellies, there the honey comes from. According to the Quran, this is Quran, right? And you can read the Turkish, right? Don't say your opposition yes. is lying. I'm not lying. You can read it's the translation, right? Some difference in Turkish translate uh, is there are uh, honey in honey in uh, belly. In the karin, right? In the belly. Thank you. So you you actually agree that it says. The Quran, also in the Turkish translation, says that honey is 
created in the belly, right? Not, not. Uh, it came from bellies. It came from yeah, bellies. It came from belly. I just told you and I to showed outside. you. It came from bellies to outside. But that's false. That's a lie. That's a mistake. It's Do not lie. Uh, I'm how? sure about how do, it. How do you know that? Prove it. Uh, it's Tawhid, um, male of Tawhid in Play Store. Uh, I downloaded it and I read it here. What? Uh, and, uh, I, I have no idea what this guy is saying. What? Come again? It's uh, Quran uh, translated by Tawhid, uh, journalist. My friend, my friend, I don't care if it's translated by the Pope. Listen, you it's just... Different. Listen, listen. You different. say, yes, listen. According to the Quran, honey comes from the bellies, right? You just agreed. You said yes. <laughs> Guys, I'm talking to a, uh, one, to one, a uh, uh, this guy. This guy is uh, from another world. I, nah, I think Surat Al Nahl, uh, Ayat 69. Yes, Surat uh, Al Nahl, Ayat 69. The uh, honey comes from Belize. Yes, which it's is Karin. Is Karin right? But to outside, yes, Karin. So it comes from the belly, right? Is uh, it's not created in belly, it's but it comes from the belly, right? You're right. Yes. Okay, that's false, my friend. Science completely destroyed this. This is a lie. Muhammad had no idea. This is a mistake. Do you understand? Uh, okay, I have a question for you. It's Arabic uh, B, uh, worker B, who made uh, no. No, she... let me show you. Wait, Th that's why I wanted to show you. The Arabic word an nahl, right? An nahl is a male word. Do you see it on the screen? Can you see the screen? I can't see. Okay, in, everybody in, uh, can see the screen. Everybody can see. The word an nahl, if you go to corpus.quran.com, you will see that the word an nahl or an nahli with the kasra under the L, right? You hear this thing called Kesra, right? It's a vowel. And Nahli, it's a genitive masculine noun. So it's basically uh, a word that you give to men. So it's a male word. But, 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 yes. there are three types, there are three types of bees. You have the queen, which is a female, right? It's a female. Uh, it's bro, a girl. Say something the, to you. Wait, listen, listen. The queen is a female. Then you have something called the drones. This is the second type. Those are the males. But the workers who go and collect nectar to make honey, those are females. But the Quran has no idea. Allah has no idea. Muhammad has no idea that there are female bees. So he called all the bees. And he actually claimed that Bro. the male bees, right? Because this is a male word. The male bees make honey. That's false. The Bro. males, listen, yeah. listen, listen, Abdul, listen. The drones, they don't work. They only make the queen pregnant. There's one queen. You have a couple of drones. They, their only job is, they are males. They make the queen pregnant, right? And the ones who are collecting nectar are female workers. So you have three types. You have the queen, you have the drones, those are only males, and you have the workers who are females. So Allah, Muhammad, they have no idea that bees can be female too. And according to the Quran, <laughs> the bee is a male. Not. Uh, B is female. No, it, no, 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 no. You are not Abdul. Abdul, is there something wrong with you, guys? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm wasting my time. This guy is uh, brain dead. I just explained over and over. There are three types of uh, and guys. Sorry, okay. I'm not going to waste my time more with this guy. There are three Nazif. I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to call him names, guys. But this guy is giving me. Uh, Brain cancer, to be honest with you. 
This guy is so slow. He is so... I don't, I don't think this guy lives on Earth. I think this guy lives on a different planet or moon or something. Nazif, I hope you are back in the live chat because you are giving me brain cancer. I, I, you know, I'm wasting my time with you. Just listen and focus in the chat, okay? I don't want to waste my time because I'm going to get a headache and I'm going to get brain cancer from people like you. This guy is slow and I don't have the time to waste. So guys, there are, again, bees are three types. You have one queen, right? You have one queen, right? You have a couple of drones who are males. Their only job is to make the, the, the queen pregnant, right? That's their job. They don't do anything else, right? And then those are the majority type. Those are the workers. They are females. And their job is to collect nectar. Did you catch it, guys? Three types. One queen, couple of drones, and the majority are female. Female workers. Now, if we go to the Quran, the word that is, has been used, right? This is not me. I only took a screenshot, guys. I went to corpus.quran.com. This word, an-nahli, is a genitive masculine noun. So it's a word that is being used for males, for men, having qualities or appearance traditionally associated with who? With men, muscular, manly, all male, so not female. So according to the Quran, all the bees, right? And Nahli, all the bees, right? And Nahli, they are all males. That's what the Quran claims. The Quran claims bees are males, which is false. But let it go. That's not the problem that I have. Let it go, brother. Brother Rob Christian, let that go. This is not, uh, you know, forget about this, brother. Right, guys? According to the Quran, all the bees are males. But forget about this. No problem, brother. Move, move on. The one million dollar question, is honey made in the belly of the bees as the Quran claims in chapter 16, ayah 68 and 69? The answer is no, the Quran is false. The Quran made a huge mistake. Allah is not all knowing. Allah is lying. There is no, basically there is nothing called Allah. Muhammad was stealing works of others and I'm going to prove it to you. Muhammad was stealing works of others. The Quran is wrong. Modern science refutes the Quran because honey is not being made or not is does not come from the bellies, from the abdomen, from the kareen. As the Quran claims, it is being turned into honey in the hive by the bees collecting nectars in their mouth mixing it with the B enzyme, right? With the B enzyme, mixing and mixing and mixing in the mouth, not in the belly, in the mouth, and outside of the body, outside of the body, that mixture, guys, the mixture, let me type it in the chat, the mixture, which is nectar, plus the B enzyme, enzyme all right outside in the hive of the bees becomes all right becomes honey that's the final product did you catch it guys so the quran is lying honey does not go inside the belly at all and it does certainly not come from the bellies. It does not come from the bellies, Mr. Nazif. I hope he's still listening. Yes, Nazif, that's the problem. That's the mistake. It's not, look at this, 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 
this guy. I don't want to call you names. Nazif, pay attention. Are you listening? Let me let me send him some Morse code, guys. Maybe this guy. Maybe now he he's uh, understanding me. Today I want to discuss something that is in. Right? Did you did you did you understand what I just said? Let me do it again. Maybe now he's he's listening. Listen, Nazif, Nazif. Ya Nazif, ya Nazif. There is something wrong with you. I, I, I'm telling you straight to you. There is something wrong with you. You cannot focus like many Muslims. You Muslims can not focus. Okay. Maybe that's a good idea actually. Just. What a, what a guy. What a son of a gun, man. Unbelievable, man. Lord have mercy. Look, Nazif. Nazif, look. Do you see? Do you see the picture? Do you see the picture? Give me one if you see the picture. Yeah, he's very slow, CW. I know. He's very slow. Nazif! Concentrate. Give me one if you can hear me. Okay, do you see this? This is a honeycomb, right? Do you see it? Do you see it? Again, let me try to explain again. Bees, when they collect nectar, right? The bees, when they collect nectar from flowers, they put the nectar from the flower in the mouth and they mix it in the mouth right this mixture between the enzyme and the nectar is being mixed in the mouth did you catch it nazif do you understand nectar from the from the or the pollen let's say the pollen or the nectar is being mixed in the mouth do you understand did you catch it this is biology 101 exactly peter m you know muslims are slow man Nectar or pollen is being mixed in the mouth with the enzyme, right? Then bees go to their hives and they put the nectar with the enzyme, this mix between the nectar of the flowers together with the bee enzyme. They put it here and then because of this mixture, it becomes honey here. So it does not come from the bellies. Do you understand? Do you understand? Give me one if you understand it. So, in the hive, this mix between the nectar and the bee enzyme inside the hive, here, not in the bellies, outside the hive, this mixture becomes honey. The final product becomes a honey. Okay, so Mr. Nazif, we just showed you that the Quran is wrong. The Quran is wrong. You must leave Islam. Because I, I just showed you one mistake. Just one mistake, as we mentioned. One mistake in the Quran destroys Islam. One mistake in the Quran proves that Muhammad is a liar. Muhammad is a fake prophet. Just one mistake. Boom! So Mr. Nazif, are you going to leave Islam? Yes or no? One mistake! And we showed you one mistake. Right? We just proved to you that modern science says that honey is not coming from the bellies or the kareen or of the abdomen of the bees just google it man <laughs> he's going to come with adib yuxel he is better with english 
Yeah, bring, bring me your scholar. I'm going to spank him and you're going to leave Islam, my friend. Uh, Nazif, I'll give you homework. Mr. Nazif, I'll give you homework. Study how honey is being made in Turkish websites. Go to Google and study, do research how honey is being made. Ahmed Khan is calling me. Ahmed Khan, this guy, this brain, other brain that died from last time. And do you see the kind of level guys that we have to deal with? Hello? Hello? Hi Ahmed Khan. It says from the stomach. The nectar is stored in a stomach B. The B stomach. What? Come again? It doesn't say. Right. Um, read, read chapter 16, I 69, please. It's, can you see the screen? Uh, it says from the stomach. Read it. I what? Read I 69. It's on the screen. Can you see the screen? Okay, okay. See this, read it from the screen. Read the screen, Then eat from all the... Okay, I'm reading, relax. Then eat from all the fruits and follow the ways of your Lord laid down for you. Free emerges from their bellies, a drink varying in color. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Belly, from from their bellies, a drink. A drink. What is the drink? Listen. What is the drink? Listen. No, no, baby steps. I'll tell you how. Okay. I'm calling. Relax, relax. No, no, I'm no. You, you, you relax. Listen. You call me. Can I you give relax. My explanation? Wait. Can I give my explanation? It, is this true? Does honey come from the abdomen or bellies of bees? Can I give you my explanation? Okay, go ahead. If someone says from my house, it, it's not talking about the finished art. It's talking, it's talking about the stomach. It, uh, the process involves the stomach. The nectar is stored in a stomach. Proof, okay, okay. You made a, guys, you guys. He made a huge claim. Prove to me from any side. Okay, I just googled it. Here is Google. The brother. nectar. Okay, is can stored you read? Read, the, the, read the screen. Read the screen. Read the screen. This is Google. I'm not reading what you wrote down, fam. My friend, Listen. Google. Go, you can Google it yourself. I put in Google. Okay, I'm telling you. Bees I'm telling collect you nectar in their mouth. That's what okay, I go. Let me read this for you. Let, okay, let me read. read this to you. Please. Read. No, no, read. I'll read this for you. Read. Can read I read screen. stuff for you? Read the screen. I, read the screen. Bees have two stomachs. One stomach for eating and the other special stomach for storing nectar. Where does it say that? Flowers. Where does it say that? Google it. I just Googled Google it. I just Googled Go Google it. Google this is Google. Stomach. I beg you. I beg you to Google this. I beg you. you you're a blatant liar. I'm a liar. Brother, I'm a liar, guys. Please Google bee stomach. Okay. Bee stomach. Bees. Easy. Nectar. The first thing you see, you will see it. Wait, wait. Bee stomach. How is honey? No, don't write how. Don't write how. Write bee stomach. Write exactly what I tell you. Just a second, man. Or you can write the two Just stomachs. Just a second. Of Be stomach, okay? What's wrong with you, man? I'm just showing you how much of a lie you offer. Donkey, wait, also I'm going to hang up on you, okay? Uh, relax, uh, uh, please, please don't. Yeah, it says here, look, 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 look. Wait, this is, this is Where are Wikipedia, you okay? This is Wikipedia, can you read it? No, 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 listen. Right, what I tell you to write? You just commanded you me, write? you just gave me homework to use right. Google. Did you write B read. stomach, B stomach. This exactly. is, this Word. is Wikipedia, read Letter it. for letter. Read it. We can... Well, where, where you at? Look at the screen, what's wrong with you, man? Okay. Okay, touch it then. Listen. You t don't, didn't that don't waste my time, donkey. I've, I have guys, I have no patience with these donkeys, man. This guy's a donkey. What's wrong with you, man? He doesn't want to read, guys. Let me read instead. This guy is a donkey, he doesn't want to read. Honey is a sweet 
vicious food substance made by bees and some related insects. Bees produce honey from sugary secretions of plants, i.e. nectar. So you see it, flower nectar. Bees produce honey from nectar or from secretions of other insects. Now the Quran, the Quran, oh, the Quran is talking about a drinks, a drink. It does not talk about nectar. And it claims that this drink, this honey comes for their, from their bellies. It does not mention nectar at all. It's talking about honey. It's a drink. You don't drink nectar. You drink honey. Do you understand? Let me continue. So, bees make from nectar, they make honey, right? Then the bees, after collecting the nectar and mixing it with the enzyme, do you see it? With the enzyme, by this enzyme activity with nectar, bees then produce honey in the wax structures called the honeycombs. Do you see a donkey? Yeah, donkey ibn donkey. And guys, by the way, donkey in Arabic is not an insult. It means someone who is ignorant. This is why you see so many donkeys in the Arabic world, in the Middle East. You have a lot of donkeys there. I am cutting you because you don't want to read. You don't respect yourself. You don't respect me. You don't want to read. Because you know you're going to get spanked. Your prophet is going to get spanked. Okay? I have no time for someone who is wasting my time. Do you understand, guys? So Google was not wrong. Google, this is what I Googled. Let me Google exactly what I Googled before, right? Bees collect nectar in their mouth, right? Let me go to Google. Bees collect nectar in their mouth, right? Do you see it? Where did I... I got it somewhere from here. Just a second, guys. Just a second. Most bees gather only pollen or nectar. Right? So you, they can collect it from fruits or maybe, you know, some sugary thing. When her nectar sacs are full, the sacs, right, are full, the honey bee returns, so the bee returns to the hive. Nectar is delivered to one of the indoor bees. So they give the nectar, they pass the nectar. One worker bee passes the nectar to the other worker bee. And it's then passed mouth to mouth, from bee to bee. Only the mouth, do you see it? Until its moisture contact is reduced from about 70% to 20%. This changes the nectar into honey. Do you see bellies? Do you see abdomen? Do you see st uh, stomach? No. So they are mixing it, mixing it in the honeycombs, and they put it here, and the final product becomes honey. Now, guys, the conclusion is, Bees do not make honey in their bellies. Conclusion, Quran er, is false. The Quran is false. That means one mistake in the Quran destroys entire Islam. And we just proved to you and we just destroyed Islam for you Muslims. Did you catch it? Now the question, the question is where did Muhammad, guys pay attention. Where did Muhammad got the idea from and where did he stole it from? Where did he stole it from? Are you still with me? Are 
Are you still with me, guys? Can you still hear me? Okay. For some for some reason it said it's buffering. Okay, you can hear me now. Okay, guys, Mohammed like many times he stole the work from hypocrites, right? Hypocrites, he stole it from him. 2,500 years ago, this guy lived, a Greek scientist, Hippocrates, claimed 2,500 years ago, 8,000 years before Muhammad was born, before Islam was created by Muhammad, before Muhammad fabricated the Quran and stole works from here, legend stories from here, fairy tales from there, works from others like Hippocrates, Hippocrates, sorry if I'm butchering the name, Hippocrates, Hippocrates claimed 2500 years ago that bees make honey in their bellies. So Muhammad plagiarized, Muhammad stole the work of Hippocrates and now we can find it back in the Quran. Ah, bam! So clearly, if Muhammad is a, is a prophet, then Hippocrates must be also a prophet in Islam. Because he came with the idea, he thought, and he was wrong, he thought that bees make honey in their bellies. Do you see how Muhammad is a plagiator? Muhammad plagiarized he stole the work of Hippocrates. What did we say? If we can show you one mistake in the Quran, poof, Islam is gone. Poof, Islam is destroyed. One mistake, just one. We just spanked, we busted Muhammad, and we served Muhammad for everyone to see. Oh, a night long. Yes, exactly. And he'll change us. Right? And like Andrew Martin says, Mr. Nazif, bees do not have honey stomachs. That's a lie. Bees don't have Honey stomachs, that's a lie. You have been fooled. The Quran has been fooling you all this time. So the Quran is wrong in chapter 16, ayah 69. Quran stole the work of Hippocrates. Right? Bees do not make honey or let's say honey does not come from bellies as the Quran claim. The conclusion, the bomb on the face of Muhammad, the fake scam prophet of Islam, your man-made book is false because Muhammad stole and plagiarized the work of Hippocrates. Sladana John, that's a lie. Pr prove it. Who told you that? It's a lie. Honeys do not produce honey in their stomachs. We just proved it to you. Do your research. Yeah, okay, uh, so you made a mistake. They do not produce honey in their stomachs. Good. Good that you corrected yourself. Good. <clears throat> Is it buffering, guys? Satan does not want us to expose his man-made cult. Guys, are you with me? Can you still hear me? I'm not sure what's going on.
please lord bless the stream make it healthy again i'm not sure what's going on guys we are being attacked by satan himself Hello guys, can you hear me? Hello? Give me one if you can hear me guys. <sighs> Weird. <clears throat> 